Welcome back everybody. It is October 17th and we just got back from work and we're heading to the stand. Uh, we got a super cold front that just moved in today. It brought uh, with it a lot of rain and uh, some pretty heavy winds but the rain has since subsided today as you can see. In fact there's already a uh, deer out in that brassica food plot down there. So they're up on their feet already. I'll show you what we're going to be doing on Onyx. We're going to be hunting this stand below the farm right off the corner of this logging trail. And uh, we got a stiff wind out of the southwest. I expect the deer movement to come from this way or from this direction uh, up through there. There's a big uh, hanging vine scrape right here that got hit by uh, a nice buck last night. There's a couple bucks there, but the one looked to be mature for sure. I'm not positive which one he was, but looking at the body, it was a mature deer. So we're heading down there. It's 42 degrees, and we have a 14 mile an hour southwest wind. So let's get our stuff together and head that way. I'll see you in the stand. set up down here and of course the wind isn't exactly what I was thinking it was going to be but that seems to be very much of a common theme down here. I don't know if it comes over the tree line and then kind of kind of uh, curls up and or what's happening but it's just never what it should be down here but at least today it's more diagonal and not blowing straight into where these deer are coming from so definitely has a cold feel to the, to the evening. It's uh, only around 40 degrees, so these deer should be up on their feet and uh, doing a little bit of cruising for October. This is a good time to be in the stand. We're still a couple weeks away from, from when it gets real good, but if there's ever a chance that one of these big deer might cruise a little out of their comfort zone tonight, I think it'd be tonight.
just missed a big black bear. It took me totally off guard. I was watching this way. And I see something out of the corner of my eye, kind of running. I look over, it's a black bear. As soon as he got downwind of me, he stopped at about 45 yards. I shot right behind him. It was a big, it's a big bear. Dang it. I didn't get the bear on camera at all, but I think I got, I got the tactic can turned on on the bow. I don't know how good you'll be able to see the bear in the bow. He just snuck up on me. I didn't know, and then by the time, heck, if I'd have seen him, Right away, I would have had like a 25 yard shot at it. By the time I got to shoot, he was a lot farther. I just never saw it or never heard it or nothing. Well, that was exciting. First big bear sighting of the year. Here comes some deer. I just made it back to the house and uh, I left you guys kind of on a sour note in the stand there. I uh, ended up seeing a few more doe uh, come through after that bear fiasco. Well, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about like what happened. So I had a bunch of turkeys off the other side of the tree that I was watching and uh, it was super windy so you couldn't hear anything. And as I was watching those turkeys, I just took a quick glance over my shoulder and that bear was standing 23 yards away from me right in my shooting lane. I mean, right there. And of course, my bow was hung up. My camera was actually around the other side of the tree where the turkeys were. And uh, so the camera arm was like right in between me and the tree and my bow was right above that. So I reached over to grab my bow and I couldn't get a good grip on it because I left my quiver on, which is something I'll never do again. Never ever will I hang, leave my quiver on from now on. As soon as I get to the tree and hang my bow up, the quiver's coming off. And uh, so I get my bow down and then I hurry up and hit the Tacticam button on the video. Meanwhile, this bear's walking the whole time, not stopping. So as he's walking, he's getting further and further away. And I get drawn back and I've got that camera arm right here kind of in my way so I have to lean out over and the bear stops finally and he's angled away from me right behind this there's a uh, big tree I don't know if the tact cam is going to see it but I knew I had just a tiny little window to get behind that tree and still get vitals and it, right as I pulled the trigger on the release, re release the bear I think smelt winded me he's right down wind at that point or something and took another step and ran like 15 yards and then he stopped 
I couldn't, it was too thick. I couldn't get another arrow through that stuff at him. And then he took back off, but oh, it just makes me sick, you know. Uh, if I just would have been paying more attention, that would have never happened. That bear would have never got up that close on me without me being ready, you know. Uh, I would have had just a chip shot right there at 23 yards on video for you guys. And a, a beautiful black bear. Man, that bear was big. Uh, I guess that's all you can do from situations like that is learn. You just got to keep your head on a swivel on windy nights. Uh, just didn't know he was there, or knew he was coming or what. Obviously, I know I owe you guys 10 push-ups. We can't have that. Okay, we got the push-ups knocked out, and it's not going to happen again, everybody. I still can't believe I messed that that, that opportunity up. That was a beautiful bear. Uh, anyways, I wanted to mention to you guys that uh, I had some people asking about shirts and hats and stuff. We have a website, keovlogs.com, and we have shirts and hats and everything listed on there. So if you guys are interested in any merch and want to help support the channel, uh, check out the website. The link's in the description. Uh, otherwise... I'm going to try to th sleep tonight and not think about watching that arrow sail right behind that bear. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.